What happens if Denim decides, I don't actually want to do any of that? What happens to the contract? What do you guys think? What happens? Go on. Yeah, it's kind it's, it's, hmm? Yeah, they won't get what they're supposed to deal, get in the deal. So say Mr. has these requirements and the deal is if you do all these things and you do it to the best of your ability, you will receive a good grade in my class. If Dylan decides that he doesn't want to do any of that, what happens? Kyrie. I was going to say something different. It doesn't, but like you said, Aiden, help him out. He won't get a good grade, so the contract is null and void. This is important for you guys to understand. Mr. Derry has a contract for you guys to sign regarding this class that we'll get to at the end of the class. But a contract is an agreement made by a group of people, right? It, we're going to agree to these things. We're going to adhere to these things so that class can run smoothly. Kyrie, would you like to say something? Say it again. A label, a contract is like a label. What do you mean by that? Well, not exactly like a label, but something like it's the same thing as something you sign for the agreement. Yeah, this this is an agreement, right? That we, we're going to sign. We're going to say we're going to adhere to these things so that we're able to uh, have a productive and, and inclusive history class. So we know that that's the purpose of it. It's just an agreement for people. We're going to keep moving on. Our next thing, we want to name some norms in, in this theory class. In this class with Spellhouse, we want to name some norms that we want to see in order for our classroom to feel supportive.